This is Intervlog. We are here once more to show you one of the largest fish pond I have seen in my life. This is called Mega Lake Farm, port court River State in Nigeria. The fish pond is owned by a very smart chief, known as George Thompson Sekibo. He is a rich man. He's not a poor man. But instead of him doing that, he takes about sustainability. What is he going to do to save the society from hunger? And he decided to join into famine because he has the capacity and the capability of doing that. And in his lake, he has about 26 million fish everywhere. This is the type of fish pond we see in Indonesia, China. Sometimes we see it in Japan, and he has brought it to Africa, which is very good. And he makes money, makes money. And the more he makes money from his fishing, he expands his farm. With him all the time is his wife. His wife is the one in charge of the farm, meeting people as well. They are working together. And that is the reason I say two heads are better than one. They have achieved a lot of things here. There are many people who have money in Africa, but instead of to use it to invest in something like this, they use it to be traveling and enjoying themselves. And this is the reason country and people got poorer, poorer, poorer. At least in his fish farm, he has over 700 workers working for him. He creates job, creates employment, creates development, and also creates future plan for the next generation. That if all these African politicians, big men, rich men who have money enjoying traveling from one place to another, have ever thought about investing their money in an industry, or especially fish farming, Africa will not be as it is today. For that reason, I give accolade to Chief George Thompson Sakibo. What he is doing is example of good chief. Chief that thinks about his people. He has created a job in his family. He has created a job for his village. And also he helped to bring the price of fish down in Africa. Africa is suffering today, but there are a lot of people with money they are enjoying, traveling from one place to another, living high life, whereby in their community, there are people who do not have a penny. There are people who do not have a job. Why are you having private jets? Why are you buying a limousine? Why are you buying a Ferrari when your community don't have food to eat? Blade. For some politicians who have money in Africa and also everywhere in the world, if we think about farm, we will have better world in future. No need for you to take your money to enjoy for yourself alone. Invest in something like this. Fish farming is good business. No matter the quantity you produce, people must consume it. No quantity is enough. No quantity is too much. If those people had to use that money to invest in fish farming or poultry or any type of farm that would have helped the humanity, it would have helped the community and also the people in the village, everybody. That reason made me to bring this beautiful fish farming in Nigeria. And it is one of the, the biggest fish farming I have ever seen. He is rich already and he creates a job. And the job he is creating is making him richer, richer, richer every day. He has now bought almost the whole village because he wants to expand. He wants to expand as much as he can. And he said that he's not doing it because of himself. If 50% of every African leader, either chief, senators, governors, presidents, are thinking like Chief George Thompson Sakibo, things would have been different. And not only in Africa, in the world entirely. Although Europe, if you go to Europe, many people think like him. There are a lot of old people who have money already, but they keep on being in their farm, creating jobs for the people, farming all the time because this is quite amazing. You see how the farm is very wide and unbelievable. Every day, traders come here to pack fish, to go into the town to sell them, and other sellers also bring new fish to put into the fish pond. He has different fish pond here, and each of them is a lake. This is not fish pond anymore, and he calls it lake, because the name of the farm is Mega Lake Farm, Port Akats, River State, Nigeria, owned by Chief George Thompson Sikibo. A very nice man indeed. Thank you very much for watching, and see you tomorrow.